Ezekiel chapter 1, 33. A call to repentance. Put on sackcloth, O priest, and mourn. Wail, you who minister before the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth, you who minister before my God. For the grain offering and drink offering are withered from the house of your God. Declare a holy fast. Call a sacred assembly, summon the elders, and all who live in the land to the house of the Lord your God, and cry out to the Lord. Alas for that day, for the day of the Lord is near. It will come like destruction from the Almighty. Has not the food been cut off before your very eyes, joy and gladness from the house of our God? The seed are shriveled beneath the clods. The storehouses are ruined. The granaries have been broken down, for the grain is dried up. How the cattle moan. The herds mill about because they have no pasture. Even the flocks of sheep are suffering. To you, O Lord, I call, for fire has devoured the open pastures. The flames have burned up all the trees of the field. Even the wild animals pant for you. The streams of water have dried up, and fire has devoured the open pastures. Joel 2, an army of locusts. Blow the trumpets in Zion. Sound the alarm on the holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is close at hand, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness, like dawn spreading across the mountains. A large and mighty army comes, such as never was of old, nor ever will be in ages to come. <clears throat> Before them, fire devours. Behind them, a flame blazes. Before them, the land is like the Garden of Eden. Behind them, a desert waste. Nothing escapes them. They have the appearance of horses. They gallop along like cavalry. With the noise, like the chariots, <clears throat> they leap over mountaintops. The crackling fire consumes stubble. Like a mighty army, drawn up for battle. At the sight of them, nations are anguished. Every face turns pale. They charge like warriors. They scale walls like soldiers. They all march in line, not swerving from their course. They do not jostle each other. Each marches straight ahead. They plunge through defenses without breaking tanks. <clears throat> they rush upon city and run along the wall. They climb into the houses like thieves. They enter through the windows. Before them, the earth shakes, the skies tremble, the sun and the moon are darkened, and the stars no longer shine. The Lord thunders at the herd of his army. His forces are beyond number, and mighty are those who obey his command. The day of the Lord is great. It is dreadful. Who can endure it? Rend your heart. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart, not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love. He relents from sending calamity. Who knows? He may have, <clears throat> he may turn and have pity and leave behind a blessing. Grain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, consecrate the assembly, bring together the elders, gather the children, those nursing at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Let the priest who ministers before the Lord weep between their temple porches and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn and a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the people, where is their God? Then the Lord will be jealous for his land and take pity on his people. The Lord will reply to them, I am sending you grain, new wine, and oil, enough to satisfy you fully. 
Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations.